Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Sujit here from Benzene. And in this video today, we're going to talk about how to add backlog into your ADO project. So let's start. Adding a backlog to your ADO project is fairly simple. And all you have to do is go to your project. And on the left side navigation panel, you'll have to click on boards. Once you get all these options in your board, you'll have to click on work items. Once you land on this screen, you will have to click on new work item. And in this example, I will show you all how to create an epic, multiple stories under an epic and how to create a task under a story so that you have a hierarchy of backlog as well. So click on new work item and click on epic. Once you're on this screen, you have to fill all the details, which is mandatory according to your project. Here, I'm creating one epic called a sample epic. And after filling all the details, all you have to click is save button here. Once you click on save button and you come back to the work items, you will see that epic being created. Once the epic is added, if you want to add any child issues within that, all you have to do is scroll to the bottom uh, right corner and you will find this add link button. Now, there are two ways in which you can add a child within an epic. First one is an existing item. If you already created a ticket and you already have that, you can link it here or you can go ahead and create a new one. So in this example, I'm going to click on new item and show you all how to create a story under an epic. In the link type, I'm going to select child and work item. I'm going to create a user story under it. Now, under this epic, I've created one user story. As a user, I want to log in so that I can buy a book. The moment you click on add link button, your user story is created under the epic and you will be directed to this model to add more details to the user story ticket. If you scroll to the right bottom corner, you will see which parent does this ticket belong to. Also, you can add a child ticket to the user story itself. I'm going to go ahead and create a task under this user story. Again, I'm going to click on add link and I'm going to select existing items so that I can show you multiple use cases. If you see here, I have selected link type as child and I had already created a sample task here. So I'm going to select that and click on add link. Now, if you go back to work items, you should see all the tickets which you have added. I've created a sample epic and I can see here and this is the user story sample I've created and a sample task. Now that we've created all the tickets, if you go to backlog from the board section on the left side navigation panel, you will be able to see the user story I've created under the under which there's a sample task which we linked earlier. Now this is how we add backlog items into a project in ADO. However, if you have multiple teams working within your project, if you have multiple areas or parts which you have within your project, if you have to add to a particular project or particular team within a project, all you have to do is specify the path or the area to which the team belong to. And if you want to add this item to a particular sprint, all you have to do is change the iteration here and select which iteration you want to add this backlog into. So this is how we add backlog in ADO and maintain its hierarchy. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope it helped. Please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and the bell button to stay updated on our recent videos. Thank you.